คืนมาเพิ่งเหรอ Oh no! Hey, hi, Susan here. All right. Okay, so it's been a little while since I've been on YouTube. I did put a little short video out, and it was about having a Patreon account. I actually am going to have a Patreon account. I think it's a better format for me than just having you know set classes on another website. This way, I'm going to be able to give you more frequent uploads than putting a whole course together. It'll be my fashion design courses. I'm going to start with draping 101. I'll probably I'm also going to do with some pattern. Making and some drafting, and I guess she's getting in trouble down there. But anyway, so that will be on my Patreon account. And another special thing about my Patreon account is that I'm going to actually have an opportunity because I get these people requesting certain videos and demonstrations. You get once a month to ask. I will demonstrate one of the videos on a question or a problem that one of my patrons are having. So please check that out. I'm going to have the link in the description box below. But what I'm going to be doing next on this channel is I'm going to be doing a vlog, and it's going to be a vlog following me for the beginning process of uh, deciphering a couture dress and actually constructing it, making it, draping it, cutting it. Even sewing it, and so it, to the final product, I'm going to have it continuous. I'm not going to pre-think any of this. It's going to be exactly how I'm going through the process, so you can see the process as I'm going. I think it'll be hopefully helpful for you and hopefully exciting as well. And I usually do it like on a size two four mannequin, which is this guy over here. But what I'm going to do this time is put it on the wolf mannequin that is closest to me. That is more of a universal size, so at the very end you can bid on it so that you can buy the piece. All right, so then wh what are we going to do and how we're going to do this? Okay, let's get started. It started off with a sketch, and if anybody knows me more than five minutes, you know that I do this when I'm excited about something or I feel. Compelled to sketch, or motivated, or inspired, right? Well, I was out of town, and I did this little scribble. And trust me, it's a scribble on a piece of paper like that here. And then, you know, it's very loose. It's very uh, nondescript, almost in certain areas. But it was very inspired, and it was inspired by this lace that I got. So this beautiful black lace that I have here. I didn't sit down to sketch in strapless or something with tucks. I literally just sat down and did a very very quick sketch and this is what kind of came out of my my feelings of, of wanting to work with this lace. I analyze it from this scribble and show you how I decipher it all and figure it out and map it out. So let's gonna let me show you the next step now. Alright let's try it here like that so I can see through it. Sketch it out. And let's see if this helps. All right, so it's strapless. It has a cup that goes out like that. I've got a little triangle piece in the middle like this that it's going to gather from. And that's all lace there as well. And it says a seam down here. This is all over lace. There's no seams, but obviously I'm going to have to have boning in there somewhere. I'm just thinking it's going to be to the waist. Then I'm going to have this tux, and I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, large tucks. They've got some gathers on it, but it doesn't look like a lot of gathers. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to do that again. Let's see, like that. I don't want it to make it too full because I don't want to add weight to me that I obviously don't need. So let's do that and that. And then there's, there's the last one that goes there like this. There's some gathers underneath, right? And then the skirt's coming out from underneath there. Obviously, there's going to be lots of gathers there. 
thing. I want to map it out as far as how I'm going to map it out on the mannequin, right? So I'm going to try to see, this is, would be the apex here. So the apex is right here. And I'm just going to put a line with the apex here so that I can understand and see this is the natural waist. And then I have to proportion and figure out these layers, how far down they go. Well, I think it's going to go, I'm going to show it to you on the mannequin. I'm going to try to do it probably where the torso ends. So this proportion is going to be key where I want to have this proportion on the dress. Uh, that if this is too long, it's going to make this look stubby if you have short, short legs. So what I have to do is make sure that this proportion is just right. I'm going to try to do that on the, on the dress form itself. So let me just put the little eyes here like that. And so that's, you know, just giving you an idea of, of working with the proportions of the, of the sketch. Okay, let's try to figure out and map this out on the dress form. Okay, so if this is the apex and we talked about um, you know, this design on the apex, it's just slight, it's not a whole lot further up from the apex. I kind of wanted to show you that on that. So I'm going to go ahead with my thin ribbon, like I talked about before, this is how we map out designs. It is not too much of a curve, but I'm guessing I'm, this is what I'm trying to see if I can get, which is probably around here. And I'm just going to start mapping this out so you can see how I come across this process. I'm just going to be putting the pins inside, just kind of feeling it. and three quarters down underneath the arm. So I'm gonna do that. Because you want to be able to make it low enough. I have a triangle going on from here. This is where this, from here down, and it's gonna be kind of this is not very wide so I'm going to kind of go and map it out like that and it's got to go underneath the bust shouldn't really draw on this mannequin but I am going to a little bit and I'm going to go as far up as I can get away with it as far as underneath there just kind of lightly do that and see if I want to go that long with the triangle. So the triangle is what's going to support the gathers to the bust. Right? It doesn't really matter how well you sew it. It's if the proportion is not right. It, it's just not going to look right. It's just not going to work, you know. So this is the part that you kind of have to concentrate. We're only going to do one side of it because it is symmetrical, meaning this side is identical to this side, so you only map out one side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the, the tape underneath here like that. Now, I could get into trouble if I don't go far enough down, but this is what I'm seeing my design to be. This is what I think I'm feeling that proportion to be. So let's go ahead and map this guy out like that back here like this and cut it out like that we know that this piece this panel here is going to have to have boning underneath that i have to have there for sure and then the skirt goes this is what i was talking about as far as mapping out the the layers. I, I want to take up this entire, this part here. 
I think this is as long as I want it to be. And I have to map out from this part to this pertinent part and divide it, I guess, in seven sections. So what is the actual length? This is where some mathematical stuff might have happen. I've got 16 inches. That's at least it's good because then I can do it in twos. I like it. Uh, I want to make it shorter. Let's make it shorter. So I'm going to do, I'm going to actually give it one and three quarters so we have one and three quarters which is really here you see that i'm gonna map out this line like that this is couture this this should be a process where the aesthetics and the workmanship should override any kind of corners that you might cut so, so I'm trying to do the one and three quarters all the way across so that I can get it in proportion. I'm going to carry that all the way across here to the back just so I have the line. So we have the one and three quarters there. I have to be able to do all of the, the layers. So let me see, I'm gonna map this guy out. I'm just gonna go like this for a minute. I just wanna make sure I have enough cut this one out. Or before I start pinning it, that it's gonna make sense when I go all the way down. So if that's gonna be another one and three quarters, I would say that that's where it starts to progress and gets more. So let's try if I do a two and a, if I do a two and a quarter, let's do two and a quarter. So that's one, two, three. And then we do two and a half. Makes more sense. And then this would be another three. I might have to go a little bit below. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this is six. This would have to be at least three. It won't make sense with it not being at least three. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit below. So it's gonna go here. Yeah, that makes more sense. So the three would be here as well for the bottom part. Here, so we said that was gonna be like two and a quarter. There, I have to find my other adhesive stuff. So then we have that. So this is just make this two and a half here. The good news is I found the adhesive that I recommended before and I'll have that information in the description box. I've got two more rows to go here and we, we made this one the last two. This one I think two and a half and then after that it's three and then three. So we're gonna go we're gonna go here and the adhesive is a little bit faster because I don't have to put a pinch through it necessarily. I like to be in the zone when I'm mapping it out and not really talking to anybody. Um, but I'm trying to trying to do it where I'm talking to you guys. But normally I would just kind of just be in the zone. So we have the one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and then the seventh one will be just a little bit over. It's going to be, I want it to be three inches too, so it's going to be over here. It makes sense that way. If I made these too small, it would look weird. And so we have the mapping here on the bottom. Still not sure if I really want to keep this. I'm going to think about it. Maybe on this on the next video I'll I'll make that decision, but right now I've got it mapped like that. Alright, so we've got the design. Here we go. Hey, this is vlog one. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for vlog two coming up shortly. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this page, share it. Give me a comment. Let me know I'm on the right track for you guys. And I will see you soon.